What's good, tribe? It's the priest. I'm back with another pick a card reading. I'm super excited because in this video, I'm going to be channeling a breakthrough in your finances. So, after watching this video, you will find yourself receiving either an extra on your check, more than expected, maybe someone to tip you more than you thought. There is a huge breakthrough in your finances coming through. So, after watching this video, the universe is going to deliver messages to you, which means it can come through. Your cell phone is very big. Your emails, your text messages, your social media, however people can communicate. I'm hearing gifts are coming through people. They come through people. So after hearing this video, you will receive an instant increase in your finances, an instant increase in your money, because this is the energy that's here. So you didn't just find yourself here for no reason, for there to be a release in your spirit and you will feel that very instantly because whatever is here feels very powerful in the sense of your value and how much you're really worth. So if you guys have not already been to the tarotchess.com, I just released a chosen 333 video, which just means there's only 333 available of these particular readings. The latest one I just dropped is what is your financial frequency? And this is how much is owed to you based on your desires. Understand it's your desires that are going to make you wealthy. If you didn't have desires, there would not be a connection to wealth. So if you're here, that could definitely be a message for you also. Last but not least, check out the live webinars. The Soul Journey webinar is every first Sunday of the month. So if you're looking for guidance in any shape or form through the cards, through your higher self for the month, there's always going to be guidance available to you. So go ahead and check out the description box below because we have two upcoming webinars. All right, if you guys are here, we have four different decks you can choose from. All right, one, two, three, and four. You guys can find the chapters down below. I'll see you on the other side. Peace. What's good, deck number one? This is the message that is going to bring you an instant increase in your finances. I wanna see first what's going on. We have courage, we have awakening, renewal. We have strength, Leo energy. Endurance and courage. We have courage here twice. Okay, I shuffled these. This is the first time I'm seeing them. I'm also going to continue to shut. All right. There's something about your financial increase that is coming after a spiritual awakening. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. Spiritual alignment. Yeah. Like I said, I haven't seen these cards. This is the first time I'm seeing them. So deck number one, instant increase in your finances. When you allow your guides, and spiritual guidance in intuition, your intuit, your intuitiveness. You've been relying very heavily on your mind to make decisions. All right. You could be an Aries if you're here. Now you're very persistent. You have a lot of courage to take action. But what happens sometimes is that this persistence is so persistent that the universe is using some of your circumstances to slow you down. So if you notice things that are happening in your circumstances around you, um, again, you're so persistent, which means in order to get you to really be aware or slow down, it seems to be something very drastic. So that's why we have the awakening here. You don't have to go through these drastic tragedies for you to see the light. The universe is not doing this. The universe is using this to bring light to the situation. So whatever decisions you're making is creating this reality in your, in your life, which just means certain things that are going on that you just, you can't really predict, but you have so much endurance. It's reminding me of this, the video I just dropped on the tarot chest. So the tarot what is your financial frequency? In one of the decks I talk about your persistence is so strong that you have to hit a wall to slow down. And that's what I'm getting here. You have the Knight of Feathers, which is one of the fastest cards in the deck. It's giving me a lot of Aries energy. It's giving me a lot of impulse. But if you slow down and be aware, you will see that something is already in your alignment for money to come. All right, let's get the message for deck one. Okay, yeah, we have the Three of Cups. So we have the celebration coming in very soon. So spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion. What is spiritual alignment? Spiritual alignment means 
being aligned with what feels good. What feels good is going to bring you a lot of money. Celebrations, partying, social gatherings, food, all of this, whatever it is, don't judge it. <laughs> there's just, there's so much for you to learn here about how spirituality is money. Money is just an expression of freedom, simply an expression of freedom, a resource that allows it. For how long, we don't know. I'm getting cryptocurrency, I'm getting digital currency. So whoever you are, you must learn to adapt with the times as well. All right, so there's so much here that you're learning about spirituality is basically what you cannot see. And money is following a frequency of a vibration. And so you feeling good is important. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now the audio is on. See, moving too fast. <laughs> moving too fast. Deck number one, slow down. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I just literally forgot to click the audio. So sorry about that. But yeah, anyways, so spiritual alignment, slow down. There's already an increase in your peripheral right now. The Empress. What else is here? Instant breakthroughs in finances coming through. Nine of Wands. You've been trying so hard to make this happen. It is when you stop trying that you will make this happen. Because you're not making this happen. You're working with the universe, which is everyone, which means anything can be delivered through anyone when you're open when you're open to that, okay? So be open to receiving money. Money is coming to you right now, deck one. It could be a stranger. It could be, it could be your trash man who just leaves you something. Like literally, this is how you're receiving. It is not from a practical, logical place, okay? So all this action and endurance and hard work is still keeping you in the same place even with the nine of wands. This is the wounded warrior. Out of all cards in the deck, this is the wounded warrior, just really trying hard. And then the empress in reverse is just, that's, that's creative energy, that's rebirth. That's, cre uh, that's creation. And so you have, you have yet to connect with this abundant version of you. The abundant version of you is not worried. The abundant version of you is not stressed. As soon as you shift into this energy, instant money is going to come to you. It's already here. It's in, it's in your peripheral. It's just you don't have that many ways of receiving. You're not really open to receiving outside of your understanding. And, and do you want to be limited in that way? No, because your understanding is limited. Because there's always going to be someone who understands it more than you understanding, comprehension. This is everything of the mind. You're so in your head about a lot of these decisions in your life, and that's not what attracts what you're desiring. How does, let's get your attraction card. <laughs> Look, instead of worrying about the future, I know all is well when I'm aligned in the moment. <laughs> exactly. So if you want to feel what that feels like, right? Imagine yourself getting instant money, but can we stop imagining the how? Because the how part is really limiting you, deck one. It's limiting you because the universe and you are very powerful. And when you ask for something, it will be delivered. But when you ask for something and you also give a vision of how it should be, be delivered, or you get very attached to uh, an outcome of how it should be delivered, you limit yourself. Because I'm sure you could possibly maybe think of what, 30 outcomes, 50? If you're really trying 100 outcomes maybe? The universe is infinite, which means there's infinite ways it could be delivered to you. But you must be open, okay? I am developing the skill to direct my thoughts. Once again, it is how can you feel better even when your thoughts are saying things that are making you feel bad. And deck one, I'm sensing that when you feel good is when you're going to receive this financial increase. Let's see what else is here. So directing your thoughts, meaning, okay, this does not feel good. Time to ground. This is literally surrendering to the flow. I can't make it up. Have courage. Okay, we have lots of Leo energy here. Lots of just 
having the courage to go towards something that will bring you a lot more creative inspiration. This is what's connected to your success, all right? So this instant increase in your life is coming from a very courageous act, okay? You might decide to make an expansion in your business. You might decide to expand in a business you're working for. You may decide to stop working. Let's see why this Empress is in reverse for deck one. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Your creative passions, enjoyment, desires is what's going to give you the most confidence. Solar plexus chakra is here, lots of yellow, which means you're still finding yourself. Your self, your true self, is the one that's connected to all of your desires here. That's why you're wealthy. It's not because of the money. It is your desires, <laughs> okay? So once again, the tarotchest.com for that video I just dropped on your financial frequency. Eight of swords, you are freeing yourself from these beliefs that have been cre just keeping you in this loop. You're the queen of wands, but you're becoming the empress. The empress is above all. This is where the conflict is with the five of wands. It's an inner conflict. It's an inner conflict with believing what you see in your reality and what it's telling you are versus knowing that there's more for you. Deep down inside, you know there's more for you and there is more for you. Now to shift into that version that you're becoming, I'm telling you that version is not worried because all is well. That version of you that you are shifting into, the wealthy version of you, the financial free version of you, okay? The magician in reverse. You, this is why this spiritual awakening is very important. This spiritual awakening can come in the form of a job change, a career change, a family situation, a partnership, um, a breakup, a new love. It's gonna come through some type of drastic ending that creates a beginning. And this is to inspire you. Queen of Wands, you are meant to be inspired. Even if you're in a relationship, if they're not inspiring you, there will you will feel drought. You are, it, when you're inspired, you are connected. You are connected to your higher self, inspiration, exhilaration, excitement. These are communications from your higher self. But how would you have known that, Deck One, lest you have fell on this video? And that's why I'm saying not everybody has this truth. The awakening is for a renewal that you're going through that to see the, the light and the truth here. So this is what is bringing you this instant increase. Will of fortune, it's destined, okay? Let's see what this increase, that, this money that's coming in. Yeah, look, ace of pentacles, all right? So this ace of pentacles, it could be a gift. It could be an offer from someone. It could be a gift from someone, a tangible gift from someone. But you have money and an opportunity coming in, and it is here. So... Now it's more of taking a step back and being aware and saying, okay, let me slow down. Let me look around. Let me be aware. If it's here, where is it? <laughs> and that's when <laughs> you will find it, when you start looking for it, but <laughs> you haven't looked for something you thought was lost. This is, first of all, let me just tell you this. If you guys chose this card, ooh, like this is enlightenment that I'm talking about. So in awakening enlightenment, just literally bending reality. So that's another thing. I have a webinar coming up, 555. You guys can find that down below, bending reality. So whether you catch it there or maybe you catch the stream, this is what you're doing, literally. So now when you start looking for this money and looking for this increase outside of where you've been looking, be open. It could be anywhere. Now you are opening up yourself to receiving more. So there's something about having the courage to speak up, having the courage to move away, having the courage to, it's not even about fighting for you because you don't have to fight, it's just being you. And something that's not aligned with you is going to create a lot of conflict, okay? So we have the most valuable skill or talent that you could ever develop is directing your thoughts towards what you want. So to be quickly evaluating all situations and quickly coming to the conclusion of what you want most, then giving your attention to that. 
There is a tremendous skill in deliberately directing your own thoughts that will yield results that cannot be compared with action. So you've been trying to do everything in an action base. Action is like the very last step of manifestation. The only action is the action of celebrating and receiving and moving towards. There's no other necessary action. And if there is action, you will not see it as action because do you see playing as action? I mean, it could be considered that in the verb sense, but playing, is it going to feel like you have to act on something to make it happen? It's going to be just for the, the mere enjoyment of it. All right, so there's a lot for you to understand here, and I see that you could be an empath, so just not controlling your emotions even. You know, we are, we're learning, unlearning to learn the correct way, and we, we think that we should control our emotions, and you could never control your emotions. You can try to suppress them, but you're still going to feel that. And so the reason why I'm bringing this up is because you're having – this message to uh, courage to really be honest with yourself about who you are and what you desire. And I see that you're going to be receiving something very instantly for this courage that you're getting ready to honor. So all in all, this increase is coming and it's also coming through the form of creative ideas. And it's like, if you have a desire to make another 50 to a hundred thousand dollars five thousand dollars it doesn't really matter all numbers are the same so it doesn't really matter what that is once you have that desire you will then have an inspired action to go create something and that creation sharing it with the world will provide you a lot of abundance deck number one 15 15 on the clock so i'm going to leave it there so you are definitely overcoming conflict adversity within and and, and without so this is your guys' message for an instant increase that's going to be coming into your life very, very soon. It's actually already here. Once you start looking for it, then you will see it. You haven't been looking for it because you haven't been expecting it. Hmm. So definitely check out that description box if you guys are looking to join a live event or book a reading or even be a part of the Chosen 333 at thetarotchest.com. All right, I'm going to move on to deck number two. What's good, deck two? You have cards already flying out. Messages are here. Um, you've been looking for this. You've been looking for some type of encouraging message around your finances and more so around your dreams, a confirmation. All right, so if you guys were drawn to promise of the future, we have trust in magic. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so deck number two, you are here because there's some type of clarity that you're seeking around your finances, around your dreams, around is this actually going to happen now? There's only one way to know if this is going to happen, and that is to actually go on the journey, <laughs> is what I'm hearing. So going on the journey is what's actually making this happen. And everything that you're being shown through your imagination that excites you and that inspires you is communication directly from the universe. Many people don't know this because, I mean, who's even talking about this? <laughs> um, how to connect with God, the universe. How do you know when the magic is real? When you ask and you desire something and then you get an email about it or you see it pop up, that is magic. Now, I'm feeling a little bit of skepticism that's coming through. So there's a lot of doubt that you're having to overcome. And the truth is, is that you won't believe it until you see it. And that's your ego. Your ego has to see it before it believes it. But you know, deep down inside, it's meant to happen. You can feel that there's more. You can feel that the future feels promising. But what I'm seeing now is that the future is going to become the now very quickly. Let's get your tarot. Five of crystals, okay? So the five of crystals is the lack card being left out in the cold, the five of pentacles, the six of pentacles. So you're moving towards something more. You're moving towards what? The 10 of shells, something more fulfilling. So you're having to leave behind many things that bring you comfortability. 
uh, maybe on paper it feels sure. And going towards something that brings you more fulfillment because you haven't been fulfilled. Yeah, four of cups. Ten of cups, four of cups here. Soul searching, reevaluating, blessings, well-being, and your money message. My what is need not influence my what is becoming. What is has no bearing on what is coming unless you continually tell the story of what is. Your life can change at any moment. In fact, your life is changing right now. Your life will never be the same after this video. It's like we have to put the realization here. All right, you're healing through fear. You're going to face your fear. And when you face your fear, you're going to bend reality. You're going to break reality. Trust that your powerful intentions combined with your faith are enough to allow your vision to become a reality, like I just said. Okay, so you are getting ready to see your promises come into fruition. They're actually already coming into tuition, in, into fruition. But for some reason, because you can't see it, you're having a hard time believing in it. And this is where your faith comes in. I see a, a, not even an increase in your finances. I see a change in your entire life. It's like you're really looking for something to break through the financial situations that you have. And I'm hearing that with the Six of Pentacles, that there's something about an immediate shift happening, taking place that is going to bring you a lot more reciprocation. You have only been seeing value in certain things that are really not as valuable as you think they are. Your energy is more valuable than your service of time. So how you feel when you feel fulfilled, you're going to do your best work, you're going to create your best work when you're feeling fulfilled. And so these places that are not bringing you fulfillment, it's just comfortability and complacement. And so if you're wondering what's taking so long, it's, it's you. And that's why I love that God in the universe is unconditional loving because right now you would be receiving in this moment. Uh, but for some reason we're having difficulty seeing this. There's skepticism here. Skepticism because of things that have happened in the past. Well, you didn't know as much as you knew in the past. You weren't as aware as you are now. It's something about give yourself the benefit of the doubt. So your finances, your money is connected to how you feel. And I will show you how. Also, the tarotchest.com 333 videos. Just release one on your financial frequency. What is owed to you based on your frequency? Check that out. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. What's going on here? Promises of the future. You're here to know that your dreams will happen. They are destined to happen. As you go towards them, will you have, will you have the courage to go towards them is what I'm hearing. You could have been drawn to deck number one. We have Aquarius energy here. We have King of Wands energy. We have Ten of Wands energy, and we have Eight of Cups energy. So, you are ending <laughs> some things here. Some, some things that you have to force yourself to do. I'm hearing that there is a time of relaxing so that you can have awareness of what it is that you truly desire to be doing. So you're coming up as the star. You're meant to live your movie life. That's what's happening right now. The movie is getting ready to start. For you, some of you, it, it has already started. So this is all about trusting in the magic of what is happening because when you tell others, you will inspire others. So as far as your finances, I'm realizing that all we have is the two of pentacles here and the Ace of Wands. So let's see why the Two of Pentacles here, what instant financial breakthrough is coming in? We have Two of Pentacles. Give me one side and give me the other, thank you. All right, we have the Seven of Wands and we have the Ace of Cups. So you have one side that has been, so this could be a career choice that you have, maybe 
going into a direction that is bringing you more fulfillment once again you can find a job anywhere it's not about getting a job it's not about getting a job that pays you well it's about being free financially okay that's what you desire with the ace of cups here there is a emotional disconnect with your dream and really knowing that this is the life that you're meant to live like it's really challenging you to go deeper your life does not have to be hard with the seven of wands it is it is not meant to be hard everything is meant to be light and easy and natural that's how you know you're on the aligned path you're on the aligned reality if you're getting resistance take a step back and be aware that it is still communication you are here to you have a lot of promises of the future i see that you're getting ready to take a more expansive path that is going to bring you a lot more excitement and passion this isn't even about your finances which is why they're not talking about it very often we still only have two of pentacles which which still is not very many practical things that are shifting right now and you've been focusing mainly on that let's see um there's a need for resting is what i'm getting as well with the four of swords here resting reevaluating, connecting like is this really what brings me joy am i excited to go here and then if you're not excited then now you know this is not aligned with my dream life and every decision you don't have to make them all in one day it's over time that you will make these decisions that you will find that your true dream life aligns naturally so this is through love okay this is through why you're here it's like it's very strange there's a lot of parent things coming up here and it's like god the universe gave birth to you brought you into this life to show you how beautiful it is that's what this was about and somehow you got caught up and you know life circumstances beliefs skepticism doubt lots of doubt because of what you have seen and it has really affected your finances now the reason why i'm bringing this up is because your desires are connected to your finances it's your desires that make you abundant let's get the let's get some messages for deck two instant breakthrough coming through okay do not fear the unknown seek your destiny so this isn't even about your finances deck two because if you had 10 million dollars in your account right now yes 10 10 million and five years of your bills were paid you may have heard me say this five years of your bills were paid what would you be doing be honest with yourself and don't judge whatever the answer is because that's what you enjoy doing it doesn't matter what it is remember only you're the judge and others if they judge you are just projecting these judgments so i'm hearing to stop judging yourself for your desires and the promises because you don't know how they're going to happen or how you're going to get them when you go into the unknown it's not seeing that allows you to be able to see everything i know this is getting this is very philosophical so this is telling me you're you're here to find the light like you are here to trust in magic to see magic you don't even care about money you just want to get it so that you can have what you truly desire and so what i'm saying to you is that focusing on your desires is what makes this money come in so i do see you having to walk away from things that are not bringing you the most fulfillment with the eight of cups all right so we have instant breakthroughs that are coming through instant instant financial instant an instant financial breakthrough coming through there's more to discovering who you are you don't say from your future self feel good before it comes so you haven't been feeling good because in the past or 
because of this or because maybe you're this or that how can you feel good by knowing that your desire is coming true you're a creator if you're here you're a creator you're coming up as a king of wands you could have related very heavily to deck one or literally could even be connected in a relationship with deck one if those of you who watch it together there's a lot of um the same energy and what i'm getting this is more of a masculine energy so you have the more you know who you are if you knew that you were a star and everything you asked for you actually received without having to do anything you wouldn't be doing as much as you're doing and if you have that 10 million and five years of your bills paid you wouldn't be doing what you're doing and that's just the truth is that we really have to get to the truth of what you desire so without desires why is money required see you don't think about it until it's required and that's how you know you don't really care much about it and that's okay <laughs> most people don't care about it unless they just love money but it's no different than loving this camera they just love money but if everyone said you needed to bring a camera in exchange for everything from now on whether that's groceries and everything we would do what be obsessed about getting a camera that we don't even care about so it's what you care about that comes quickly to you you really have to desire it and so the best thing you can do is search your heart for those desires soul searching what would that be and when when you really desire something it will happen oh trust me it will happen and that's because you're you won't accept anything else happening you know and it's you guys could have really under underwent some things spiritually in this life because i just know that there there could be something very special to you like it could be a cellar ceremony a celebration giving to like there's something that would bring you so much fulfillment that it will just get done because you won't accept anything else but can you do that with your life can you do that with everything and trust that it will and, and, and feel good before it comes, which actually means it's coming? Just like that check we know we're getting, but can you, can you feel good before it comes? Okay, so your dreams and desires are the keys to your fulfillment. So, so that's why it's important for you to know because it's giving you the answers to unlocking this life. Your life is a mystery. You're the character you're discovering. This is the movie you're, you're watching, really. And we say create your reality, right? But even then from a higher, higher perspective, because you guys know I'm very, very connected, very, very connected to the universe. I'm like a universe kid or something. And even then, we're not creating our reality. We're truly allowing our reality. Everything's already created creation is perfect in all of its ways and we are just simply calling in and allowing that reality that we truly desire whoever you are you could be a light worker level 11 mentorship check that down below in the description you are meant to find this light this what i'm teaching you right now is a light that has to be discovered in deck one it's all about courage they're they have to like take the leap you are at the cliff you're like okay i'm i'm taking this leap and guess what that's what's bringing you in an instant um money increase so let's look at that again and see because you guys seem to be you're not focused on the money at all which is fine but it's still has to feel like a desire for you, for it to be attracted to you, money. So you have to find a way to feel good about money. And what that means is just seeing that money is a resource that allows freedom, it's not everything, but to still be open to receiving. Um, and that's what they're really saying. So this instant increase, what is it coming through? Delight, so blessing. So this is going to be something that is very fulfilling to you. Once again, it could be something tangible i'm also feeling like they're in a carriage so it feels 
like it's a journey, it's a destiny, some type of opportunity that you're going to get that's going to be put, put or placed in your spirit. We have achievement at the bottom. So you're going to receive, I, I just hear public recognition. You're, you're the character and fall in love with yourself. You're the character before you share with others. Once you share yourself with others, whether that's through talking, whether that's showing pictures, whatever you feel good about, oh, the money's here. It's just, you don't see, you don't see it just yet. And so there's more to discovering. And I believe that this is coming in very quickly. So if you guys were drawn to deck number two, this is, this is an instant like financial increase, but it's like, okay, let's move finances out the way because truly like if you had all the finances, you wouldn't even be thinking about it. You wouldn't be thinking about finances. You would be like, okay, where do I want to go next? Okay, what do I want to do next? And that's your true version. But we fail to be our true version until what, 10 million in five years of our bills get paid? Well, damn, how many lifetimes you going to wait? Okay, you could be an artist, lots of poetry, lots of rhythm, rhyming coming through here. So yeah, it's like, yes, you're here to live that. And whatever those dreams that you have are, they're connected to your desires. So once you live this, it, it's like, these desires belong to you. It, they're just, there's a lot here that you are definitely learning. So check out the tarotchest.com for those last videos. What is your financial frequency? And then also those live webinars if you guys want to learn more about all of this light worker stuff. So in the meantime, I'm moving on to deck number three. What's good, deck number three? If you guys were drawn to this card, then an instant increase is going to happen in your finances through your prioritization. What's interesting to me though is that the priority is you. The priority is what lights you up, what brings the most pleasure, what brings the most passion and excitement to you is going to bring the most financial increases in the next season of your life. Okay, we have six of acorns, yeah, triumph, success. Okay, so, so far out of all three, I see this being accomplishment. I see this being triumph. This is something that came up in deck two as well. So the six of acorns is all about public recognition, people seeing you, spotlight, social media, um, just even if it's not social media, it's socialism. Like, I don't know if you don't want to be around people okay you could definitely be a part of my soul tribe shout out to the light tribe and yeah you could just find yourself really in a place of solitude and recharging so i'm getting that a lot here with the five of shells so this could really bring you hope and just readjusting what it is that your priorities truly are and guess what you are the main priority that's coming up because when you prioritize yourself and you're the happiest the people around you will be the happiest. When you feel the most confident, your partner will be more drawn to you because you're drawn to you. So self-love is an increase that's coming in. See, we look at finances as just money, which is fine, but your value and how you feel is what is attracting money into your life. So when you feel successful and you feel good, that's when you will have your most sales. That's when you will have the most money come to you because you're in this feeling of energy. So what brings that feeling to you? We have page of shells, inspiration. All right, so I haven't seen these cards yet because I pre-shuffled them, but page of shells is a discovery into your emotional fulfillment. Once again, this is the priority. If it's not bringing you emotional fulfillment, why are you still doing it? Five of acorns. This is where the adversity is coming in. Five, five. You guys could be a part of the 555 portal. So that's going to be on Seco de Mayo. You guys can find that down below if you guys want to join that live, live mentorship for level 11. This is only for those of you who are really, really feeling like you're being called to enlightenment. You can find that in the description box. Your money card. We are each responsible for the thoughts we think. I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me. I accept that good things come easily. So you're a super attractor if you guys are here. Your vocals, 
your throat chakra is very important to this. So you guys could be a speaker. You could have knowledge. You could have a lot to say. You could have a lot of wisdom that if you decided to share that wisdom with people, the right people, because some of you have been sharing so much wisdom, so much expertise, and not even knowing what the value of it is because of the people that you're around. But when you get around the right people, they will say, wow, that's profound. So you guys could be an artist because a lot of poetry in, is coming up and a lot of spoken word, but get around the right people who can reflect you and see you. This is also something that's instantly coming. So this money that's coming into your life is coming through people. It's coming through the prioritization of you. So you had to overgone a, a go a lot of challenges, but it was growth for you to see, once again, good things come easily. So there's guidance that's being given to you, and there's no action required other than slowing down and being aware of the communication that's coming in. Because once you're aware of it, you can shift towards it. Let's look at this instant money, money that's coming in, money, 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 money. <laughs> Lots of money coming in for you. It's will of fortune. You're destined to be wealthy, the sun card. It's connected to your joy. It's connected to your happiness. I don't believe the sun card has come out in any of the other decks yet. So I definitely am feeling very, very strong, strong, just I'm living my dream and all I'm doing is what I normally do, but this time I'm getting paid for it. So some of you were doing this so naturally, you didn't realize how much value it was bringing into others' lives because the people you were doing it for, whether closest friends, family, people around you, were not able to see the value of the wisdom and the knowledge or expertise or whatever it is that you were giving them. Okay, some of you, even if you are someone who does something that doesn't seem like you would be affecting someone's life, maybe you just provide a service, but your energy is why they keep coming back, right? It's not just the service, it's you. It's you. When will you see? It's you all along. You are the answer. You're the attractor. So tell a different story, bend reality. Okay, we have the queen of pentacles. You are here to be abundant. I also feel like your financial frequency, check out the tarotchest.com. I just released that video. There's only 333 of those. Your financial frequency for you, deck three, is very high. And the reason being is because you desire to share. You desire to fellowship. You desire to entertain. You desire to um, share. Yeah, and so you, you will attract a big house. And when I look at your desires, the home, um, land, a garden, space, it doesn't, and don't judge your desires. I, this is now the third time I'm saying this in all the decks because there's a lot of judgment around your desires. It's, it's not too big. There's no such thing as too big. That too bigness is pushing it away. Your desires are connected to your wealth. If you didn't have any desires, there would be no need for money. So the more you desire, the more that comes to you, the higher your financial frequency is. In this case, you are coming up as someone who's able to nurture and care for a lot of people. So this tells me you probably do have a big home and you might have vacation homes because your desire is to share. Maybe have those big dinners every Sunday, or maybe, maybe you don't desire that. But once again, be honest, because is it your judgment of saying, well, all I really want is this little small space? Listen, the one word that doesn't describe you is small, ever. All right? There's, there's no mansion that's big enough to contain us, which is why people get tired of $20 million mansions and $100 million mansions. You would just think, why don't you live here? They're over it. <laughs> we are ever expansive, like nothing contains us. So therefore, with the Queen of Pentacles, just by your desires to share and give, and you might want to give so much to people and give gifts and do all these things. So that tells me a lot about you. So you can see a lot about who you are based on your desires. So there's a lot of self-discovery. Get to know yourself. 
What brings you joy? What would you like? Would, it, would you like six cars? Would you like a family? Would you like a vacation home? Would you like land in another country? Really connect. The answer, I can't, I cannot make this up. At this point, me and the universe are tag teaming. The answers lie within your desires. This is where the money is held up, right? So, whew, so much here. You're a super attractor and you're getting everything that you want and you're getting everything you focus on. But what are you focusing on? So this money coming in is coming from you expressing yourself. It's coming from expect to hear from me soon. Your life experience will be the blueprint to empower others. Some of you right now could literally, literally <laughs> put together some type of guide, workbook, ebook, couple of videos, and give your life experience and would literally empower others and money would be in your account as soon as you could set up your PayPal. Literally. This, there is so much success around you, it's going to be hard not to be successful. And the only way you can do that is if you try to make this happen. So what's going on here for deck three? We have the Ten of Swords. Some ending needs to happen here. Um, eight, of, eight of Pentacles, you overworking. You thinking you have to overwork for this. You don't. You know enough right now is what I'm hearing. Deck three. You carry enough light, enough truth, and let me, under, let me explain to you, when you live in a world full of darkness or just simply not telling you the truth, let's just say, let's just not tell them the truth. Let's, let's not tell them that they actually are a super attractor. Let's not tell them that when they vibrate and feel good, anything they desire will literally come to them. Don't tell them that they don't have to actually make this happen, that the universe is delivering it. Don't tell them that the universe is a holographic genie that is literally showing you how you feel and who you are. Just don't tell them. So now we have someone like you who's going and trying to figure, out, figure this out for yourself. You have this desire to figure out the truth of wealth which is why you will obtain it. Because once you obtain it, guess what you're going to want to do? Guess what you're going to want to do, Deck 3? The first thing you're going to want to do is be like, oh my goodness, I made 100000 last month. Let me show you how. And it's not about making more money for you, even though you'll make even more money because you're sharing your wealth through your, your knowledge and your wisdom. It's because you just have a desire to share. Share. Share your pictures when you go here. Share, share, share. And guess what you're doing? You're inspiring people and they're going to want to give to you. They're going to want to give to you instantly because of your energy. You can't not succeed unless you're in the way trying to make this happen. Eight of Pentacles. All right, deck three. Definitely, definitely check out the description box because I have a few lives coming up. I'm going to be teaching how to bend reality. Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, there's no more disappointment that's going to happen if it's meant to be. There will be no d disappointment if it's meant to be. The moon card here, we have Pisces energy, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, you've really been working towards this Ten of Pentacles for so long, but look at this energy. Eight of Wands, Leo, big Leo energy here. Sagittarius, big Aries energy here. You are a multi-manifester. Be open to receiving from everyone and everywhere. Don't know where it's coming from. Just expect it to come and show up. So the instant money that you have coming in right now is, it is, it is like whenever you're ready to share <laughs> is really what I'm hearing. You have a lot of money right now that's owed to you based on what you have to share, but you've only been sharing what you've had three of pentacles, so um, five of pentacles, sharing your stories, sharing your face, sharing quotes, share, 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 connect with people, and this is bringing in an instant, um, an instant financial increase for you, knight of wands, it's connected to your passion, queen of cups, it's also connected to your intuition with the moon, 
the, your intuition is what is going to be guiding you. Your mind cannot really take you very far. Your mind is going to probably be best when it comes to, you know, 3D things like signing paperwork and reading and those type of things. But leading you to the path of your promised desires, not so much. So there could be tons of distractions around you. And what that tells me is the priority. Once you prioritize yourself, money will be flowing in very, very instantly for you. It'll be very easy for you. It is very easy. Money comes to you when you're yourself. When you decide to share yourself with others, abundance will come, which means an overflow will come. I'm hearing for those of you who are here, get on TikTok. You're literally making real money through fun donuts, stars, roses. I mean, there's so many little icons that are worth coins and they're real money just from getting on there and sharing your face. You don't even have to talk. And those of you who are like, oh, I don't know if that's for me. Well, ask yourself if abundance is for you. Because connecting through social media is connecting with an abundance of people. So whether you are on there or outside at a event, the people around you are going to be the ones that are blessing you. That's where your blessings are coming from. Blessings come and are delivered through people. Opportunities come through people. People's hearts have to be moved to choose you out of all the resumes and then to call you. It's all the universe making this happen. So your ego may be busting out of its comfort zone because when you have something amazing like winning the lottery, are you going to be like, Oh, I don't know if I want to share this. You know, I'm not, I'm not too comfortable. You just won the lottery. You don't care. You are screaming for joy. You are so happy. So maybe that should be the step here to bringing in this wealth. Because I see this happening very quickly. How soon is this happening before I close out? Something you've been waiting for. Let it go so it can come to you. Page of Pentacles. Okay, it's coming very soon. I see that this being an opportunity, all right? Seeing yourself as the wealthy version that you are, that you know to be that, and again, your version of you will be revealed based on your desires. So get to know yourself a little bit further. If you guys are looking for other content, you guys can check out the description box below. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to the last deck, deck number four. If you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading for a money increase that is going to happen right after you watch this. If you guys were drawn to this card, there's something that's really important about you being a child and you having a childlike perspective when it comes to finances, not taking it too seriously, having fun, seeing it as an arcade and money is just tokens. All right, so we have Ace of Feathers, once again, seeing things from a new perspective. Foundation, mental clarity. All right, we also have the moon. Imagination, perception, Pisces energy. Imagining more for yourself. Imagining this financial increase. Life is always working out for me. So changing the way that you see things, and it is true, this is true. This isn't just an affirmation, okay? Affirmations are pointless if we're just, oh, it's life is always working out for me. Life is always working out for me. Life is all, that's just programming your mind. Your mind is just a tool. Your mind, the mind belongs to you. Therefore, it is not you, your mind. It's a tool. So what are we gonna do? Just try to program this tool to believe it? I mean, you can do that, but Deep down, you can connect with your intuition here. There's something about intuition over mind. The way that you're seeing things could be preventing money from coming in the way that you would desire it to come. I don't like to say that there's blockages, but it's like there's more you desire 
and it's slowly coming because of your perception, the way that you're seeing things. Because remember, you are the one who determines the life you live. See, this is no longer tarot at this point. I am patient knowing that whatever of the highest good is coming out to me. I just butchered that. Knowing that whatever is of the highest good is coming to me. Three of crystals, collaboration, productivity, whatever it is that you're doing, you cannot do alone. You are not meant to do it alone. You might have an assistant. You might be... You might have interns. You might become one, an intern or assistant for someone that you really admire. I mean, there are many different perspectives here. But what I'm seeing is when you let go and know that life is working out for you, it literally is working out for you. However, if you would like to see something differently, then you are shifting seeing differently. So we have the nine of shells, which is the nine of cups and the page of swords here. So there's more for you to learn. And they keep bringing up the page, which is a childlike perspective, being able to see the world from a childlike place where imagination is real and it's creating your reality. It's allowing the reality that you truly desire to come in. And life is truly working out for you. Let's see what I like understanding that things are always evolving. While there are many things that could be better where I am, it is not really a problem because where I am is constantly changing to something better. I like knowing that as I look for the best things around me where I am, those things become more prevalent. So focusing on the good, money is coming. Okay, once again, once again ego death you guys could have definitely been drawn to two different cards or another card you're going through a huge spiritual awakening how you see things is what is was not real it's like believing in santa for so long and the next thing you know santa's not santa and you're like dang so that means yeah that means take some time to digest some of these truths that you're receiving because there's nothing you need to do you maybe haven't even started your spiritual journey in the depths of it just yet, but I assure you as a tribe leader and probably your tribe leader and guide, if you're here, that you will soon find that everything is divinely working out for your highest good. But we as humans, beings being human, do not go towards our highest good because we get caught up in survival in thinking that we're actually making this happen. We are working with the universe to, to create this. So instant financial increase is coming to you. We still don't have any pentacles here. So what is this about before I get into this? Pentacles, where are you at? Three of pentacles, five of pentacles in reverse. The hermit, we have Virgo energy here. All right, so life is always working out for you when you follow what you love. That is also very true. So many of your decisions maybe were not based solely on that. We have a lot of emotional cards, a lot of connecting with you as a child before you got caught up into these adult responsibilities and obligations. The world is not what you thought it was. It's actually working out for you for your highest good. The universe loves you unconditionally like a child in a parent relationship, wanting to give you all the desires of your heart. And I see that money has not really been something that you desire. I've talked a little bit about this in deck three. I'll, I'll say this again. Money is not really what you desire. It's just the exchange that's required. So if it wasn't required, you you probably wouldn't care about it. I mean, most people wouldn't care unless they just truly love money. And that's not because of what it does for them, but because of just loving money. See, the way that you love money is like 
loving someone in a relationship only because they can do something for you not because you really love it or them so there's something about finding an appreciation and a love for money and that's totally fine because money is okay money is your friend it allows you to exchange for desires and be free it's not the ultimate exchange but it is just one simple exchange so because of this money does not really flow to you uh, hasn't been flowing as effortless to you because you haven't believed in that and so once again at the very beginning they're saying seeing life as an arcade and money is just tokens to play and you can win tokens and then i mean you play and you play for what the prizes and so you play you're meant this is literally what your life is meant to be it's bringing me to um, something I just taught last month. So if you guys are interested in level 11 mentorship or anything I have going on, check out the description box because this is something that I'm, 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 I literally teach this. So this is where my passions and desires are when philosophy meets. And your life, just when you think of winning prizes, going to the prize box to go turn in your tickets, which are money, for prizes, it's like shopping. You know, you getting a lot of money so you can go shopping. Everyone has these desires because it's connected at our soul to play we are children at heart we came to the universe to play we seen the universe as a playground and then somehow we fell into the beliefs that were not true based on generational things who knows but you i'm hearing will break the cycle of what is the truth discovering this for yourself what is the truth what is money and i assure you if you wanted money, you would have a lot of it all the time. You wouldn't have to try to get it. It would just simply come to you. And I see that it's simply coming to you because whatever you're doing that you love has so much good energy behind it that it's attracting it into your vibration. Let's see where this money, instant money is coming for. Okay, 10 of swords. It's coming after a difficult ending and justice though. So it could be through a legal system, could be through, I mean, you can receive money in infinite ways. And that's why I say don't focus on how it's going to come. Because as soon as you start focusing on the how, you start manifesting that how. And that how could take a long time versus instantly. The universe wants to deliver this at the perfect time. And I see justice, so it could even be a lawsuit, um, a backup paycheck that's coming through here. But I see that you're getting justice because you know the truth. You will never have to go through what you, you've went through before because you have the clarity now. You can see now. So there's something about you discovering that money is obtainable. It's easy to get. There's, there's a relationship shift with money that you will naturally want to teach the people around you because you will start hearing it in their language, their lack. You will start hearing people's vibration as they speak. And you will also have the awareness of you. You are abundant. So you have justice coming in. Let's pull some other cards to see what's here for deck four when it comes to an instant increase in their finances. Okay. There you go. Expect a gift within 30 days. So deck four, that's very, very clear. It looks like you, you were looking for logic you are once again <laughs> you're looking for an actual precise answer now this is perfect but what i was saying earlier is that if you expect it in 30 days then it will come in 30 days but if you expected it in 10 days it actually would arrive sooner so this is why we just let go and we say oh a gift is coming that's it and then once we release time that's what actually helps you bend the reality <laughs> it's crazy all right, let's see if there's anything else here. Because we don't want to play with time. We don't want to play by time. You have the power to transcend pain, pain. So everything that you've been through, we do have a lot of endings. We do have a lot of separation, a lot of attachment uh, for you to see this. Okay, this is all for you to see very clearly what was happening. So being patient with yourself. Once again, it's not the universe teaching you a lesson punishing you any of this it is the universe simply tr in a place of delivering 
your highest desires, but you not being in a place to receive them. Now, how can you be in a place to receive them? Your dreams and desires are the keys to your fulfillment is by just simply going towards them. So without desires, there would be no money required. I've been saying this all day, which just means that if you don't have a reason to exchange money, there's not going to be an inspiration behind it. You tell me if you're inspired to pay taxes, you might be if that is what you're aligned to feel. You tell me if you're inspired to pay bills, you might be if you're aligned to bills. You can see bills as more of a experience of, oh, I'm going to pay this monthly to live in my dream space. But if you don't feel like you're living in your dream space, that payment will feel like a bill. So once you move to your dream spaces, it feels so good that you feel excited to pay and the money comes from all over the place. But if you're not in your desires or you're waiting to go towards your desires until you see exchanges coming in, remember, do you just wanna have a bunch of exchanges to not exchange? No, you des have desire. So once you start thinking about that vacation and you actually go towards planning it, you will see that the money for it will come. So you must every day have desires if you want to be expanding and growing and evolving every day not everyone has that desire there's something about self-discovery getting to know yourself don't compare yourself to others you're unique in your own way yourself is the biggest money getter here so you have something coming in within the next 30 days that's very precise if is there anything else here before i close out for deck number four Okay, you have support coming in. When I introduce joy to my situation, I change the vibrational frequency. So, could have been drawn to card number three. We have yes here. And that just means that joy is the answer. When you're doing what you love and you're in joy, you're naturally gonna wanna share this with others. Some of you, I'm hearing, just turn the camera on and press record and, in, and, and record yourself having joy. And when you're in, again, if you're ready to share with the world and others that version, that, that energy, that frequency, joy is worth a lot of money. So you sharing that with others is what brings in money. You make people feel good. And that is priceless. Choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith. So just simply say, yes, I'm a super attractor, and it's not an affirmation. See if you can really connect with believing in that. What would that feel like to just be a super attractor? Everything you desire just comes to you. It's coming to you. However, because you're not focused, because you're focused on a specific way, it, it should come or might come it eliminates all the others. So the best way is just to let go, enjoy life, be in the present that you're in now, just living in the moment, living in the moment. When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. When you really truly know that it's not you making it happen, you will feel like you are so blessed to be a part of this life that because there's nothing you have to do and and I can only say that because I know I I know what it feels like for the the universe to have my back at all times to be delivering it to go day by day take things day by day moment by moment is what I'm hearing the communication is coming in for you deck four and I feel like this is going to happen very soon. So if you guys were drawn to deck number four, this is your reading for an instant increase in your life very quickly. If you guys have not checked out that description box, definitely do so. I have some really cool things coming up. I will be dropping some more videos. It was good to see you guys. Well, not necessarily see, but pretty soon I'll see you guys. I've been taking a hiatus to just restore, regenerate, to get right back into the summer. So I'm excited to see you guys very soon here. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, turn on your bell notifications because I will be going live soon. 
See you guys later. Love and light to you.